Assalamu alaikum guys, I am Dr. Tawkir Hussain and today I will show you how you can create an account on Island Medical Council website for registration purpose. So first of all, go to the Google and write down Island Medical Council and here is the website. So you will click on general registration. And here the first blue one is for European Union doctor and second one is for non-European Union doctor. So I will click on that. And in this whole video, I will try to complete the process or so show you the process of non-European Union doctors, specifically for those who are exempted from the press exam like Pakistan country. So now click on online registration account. And here you are going to select register now. So first of all, add your email address here and then click on send verification code. You will receive a code from IMC in your mailbox, so you will copy paste there, that here. My net is not so good guys, so I am just not received the code, I am waiting for that. I am really sorry, I am just waiting. I have not received the code yet. Uh, and once you have received the code, you will write down here and then you will click on verify the code. And after that, select create. So once you have write down or verify your code, the next thing is you have to add your password and then in the next blank you have to write down again your password and in third one you have to first of all write down your first name according to your password and then in the last blank you have to write down your last name and then click on create. So after clicking on the create you will see some information here which you can read and then after that you will select next step and here uh, first of all you will select your title and then you can check your first name and then your last name and after that you will select your date of birth. And next portion is about your gender you will select that. and after that you will have to write down your mother name and the next portion is your birth country you will select that so this is all about the left side now i will go to the right side so first of all you have to put down your residential address here so make sure that you uh, complete the address in two line because it is mandatory like the star is there and you have to write down May, uh, try to divide it in two columns and after that you have to write down your town or city and the next portion is your county or region or province you can say and then you have to write down your postal code and after that select your country again and in the last uh, portion there is mobile number which you have to add or write so after putting all that information you can recheck it again and after that you will click on next step So here is all the summary of the detail which you have recently put or added. So you can also recheck it again and after that you will click on submit and your account will be created. And here uh, they will show you your reference ID 
or registration ID now you will click on uh, the login portion and here you can see that your name in the right corner in the top and your registration ID now you will click on outstanding task and here you will select start application so first of all here is some information about your pathway or the complete process of registration which you can read and in the in these two questions you will select no like they ask that do you have already applied or you have any account before in the Ireland Medical Council website so I don't have I will select no in both and then click on the next step so now first of all you have to add your contact details here which we have already added you can recheck it again here and then uh, in the uh, last portions you can see you have to write down or add your passport number here in identification details and then you will you will have to select your passport expiry date and then select the country of your passport and here is it's also mentioned that id cards are not acceptable as proof of identification so you should have to add your passport number and then next portion is about your registration like are you applying for internship registration no i'm not applying for that and for uh, a press exam uh, exempted um, countries like pakistan you have to select medical practitioners who do not meet the criteria for any of the above categories like the fourth number so all those countries who are exempted from the press you can check the list from website and you will go for this fourth option medical practitioner who do not meet the criteria for any of the above con uh, above categories so in division you will go for the journal And now in the sub route you will select certificate of experience or equivalent route because you are applying on the basis of your house job or internship certificate you will click on that route and after that here you will add your epic id and then click on the next step and now you have to add your medical school or you can say your mbbs degree so click on add basic qualification here first of all select your qualification country and then add your medical school name when you select the country all your country medical school colleges or universities will be shown here so you can select yours and after that uh, your medical school degree will be automatically shown and you will click on that and add and after that you can write down your starting date of your medical school and then the date on which you leave your medical school or completed your degree or you can also say when you received your degree And then select the language of instruction like English so in this portion mostly Pakistani doctors will confuse so in conferral date they will put your their transcript date and the university issued them the degree a bit late like one or two months so you will put down your transcript date here and after that they will ask you when they started the assessment of your documents that your degree date is uh, a bit late like two months so you will have to give that explanation so we have added the medical school now next thing is we have to select any competent authority in which we are generally practicing like for Pakistani you will select the Pakistan Medical and Dental Council if you have the license so you will uh, write down the 
registration date on which you have received the license and then the registration uh, last date like on which uh, your license will expire and then you have to write down your registration number and in registration type you can write down the full license or permanent license whatever you want to write down and then click on save and your licensing authority will be added here so you can see all the details of the authority here now click on the next portion and here now there is some important question which you can read and put the answer according to that like first one is have you been convicted a uh, court of law so I will select no do you have or ever been diagnosed with the relevant medical disability I will select no have you been treated for alcohol dependence no have you been treated for drug dependence no and then similar like that you will answer all these questions like mostly and the answer is like no because this is all like according to the drug or criminal side so most of the doctors will select no in these questions So now here you have to put down all your professional experience and it is important that you put down the experience of each rotation and specialty as individually or in a separate post. So first of all start from your house job and first of all select your post held like house officer and then select the starting date of your first rotation. And after that you have to write down your first rotation and date. And now I will select my specialty of first rotation like general medicine. And then I have to write down the employee name like my hospital name. And after that, I will have to select the country of my hospital. And then you have to write down your hospital address. and after that write down the postal code of your hospital city then click on the save button and your uh, one rotation of house job information will be added so same like uh, that you have to add all your rotations house job details here try to add all the details like one by one rotations so i will add the next rotation details same like to the first one like I will select the post house officer and then select the day starting date of this rotation and then the date on which I completed this rotation and then select the specialty and after that go into the same process like your employee name your country of hospital and then the postal code Uh, and here I have selected my second rotation as general surgery and one thing to remember here is that uh, when you click on specialty held you will not see all the rotations name here like you will see a uh, few rotations name like medicine surgery 
anesthesia, pediatrics, emergency medicine, or ops and gynae, and some other specialties like ophthalmology, ENT. These are not included here. So when you have to add these specialties, then you will select uh, according to your uh, main rotation. Like if you are, you are going to write down orthopedic surgery, then the option is not there. Then you will select the surgery. And when you write down your employer name, you will write down your employer name and in that uh, put a bracket and then write the uh, orthopedic surgery there. So now I am going to add my third rotation. So here you can see I have uh, again selected the surgery. Uh, why? Because my rotation is not shown in that box. So I will write down here with my employer name Lahore General Hospital and then in bracket I will write down ophthalmic surgery. And also some information which you have to remember is that if you have done ENT then you should have to write down auto rhinolaryngeology in your experience certificate and also same goes for ophthalmology you will have you will try to write down ophthalmic surgery in your experience certificate because IMC will accept these names and similar goes for orthopedics and some other rotations. So here you can see I have added the information of my three rotations and now I will go for the fourth and last rotation of my house job. So after putting all the details of your fourth uh, four rotations of your house job, then after that you can click according to your experience. Like if you uh, selected the general practice or you are doing the private clinic or ship in BHU, RSC, you will add in all that information according to your practice. And for those guys who have not started the job or they can put according to their data like uh, they have select the career gap like if they are up waiting for their ad hoc interviews like that and also you can add the study gap if you are appearing or preparing for some exams like FCPS, MRCP, PLAB, AMC like that like you can see I I have added the study gap here like I am preparing for some exam so I will select all that uh, dates accordingly so for gap you will have to edit the information like that you can see And also for uh, in this experience portion, we have to write down the experience starting from our internship and house job till today. You have to put all the information till today. Otherwise, the application will not move forward. And you have to put all the details till today. What are you doing? Are you practicing or you are doing some study or preparing some other exam? So here I have added the study gap, you can see. And now after study gap, I will select my experience according to my practice. Like I will add, I am pra practicing as a medical officer in a hospital. So I will select again the starting date of this practice and then uh, the date on which I have ended or I am still doing this so I will select that I am 
still in that hospital working and then select the specialty in which you are doing and then write down your hospital name and then you have to add the country and then your hospital address and then write down the postal code so now I have added all my experience here so after that click on the next step so here is the summary of all the details uh, which you have added recently you can again recheck it all portions so you can see in category we have selected four registration type is general and all these things and here is some mandatory information which is given like you should have to print out or download this uh, summary or all the information and these information is like after your account has been created what documents you needed to send to the island medical council by mail so all these documents are shown here or added here you can download that form and later on you can follow that and next step is your personal indemnity and here is some portion which you have to select like most of the doctors uh, will select the one option and also three but some other doctors also go only five option or only one option it's totally dependent on you you can uh, read all these steps and you can follow or done according to yours and after that here is some declaration which you have to take all the boxes and then you have to click on next step so here is some again declaration you have to uh, select all the boxes here again like here is given that I have read all the uh, rules and regulation of the council and everything you can further on read according to yours so almost we have done 90% for account registration so here you have to pay the fee like uh, the fee is ab about uh, 410 euro so here you will put your billing address and then select the payment submit and pay and after that uh, your account will be created so after payment you will receive two emails from the epic the first one is uh, uh, about your payment and second one is that your account has been created and in one or two weeks you will receive another email which shows that uh, you have to send all these documents to IMC so this is all about the account registration thank you very much